Alright, now let's go the other way. Now let's go from rectangular to spherical. Here we have our rectangular point, one, one, one. Yeah, I graphed it for you. One in the x, one in the y, one of z. Tee hee, tee hee. This is an x, y, z. What do we need? We need, we need rho, theta, phi. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get rho. We can get rho using the distance formula. Rho is the distance from the origin to the point. That's that distance. Sure. Let's find rho now. So rho is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Sure. Looks like rho's going to be root 3 after we plug it in, plug it in, and evaluate. Now let's go and try to find theta. Theta. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we find phi first? Because phi find I don't know. <laughs> Fun. Green giant. Let's find phi. Let's find phi by using z and rho. We've already got those guys. So we're going to go through and we're going to use z and rho. z from my original point, rho from my foundation. That's not a real word. Okay, so then z is 1. That's root 3 cosine phi. Sure. So then, phi is cosine inverse of 1 over root 3. Now, I don't know that exactly, so I'm going to use a calculator to approximate it. My TI, it knows all about that. I'm going with degrees. They're easier to see. I understand you're supposed to be using radians. It's a continuous measure. Mm-hmm. Close it, close it, get it, get it. 54.7 degrees. Ish. So now, we need to find theta. Find theta. Okay. That's V. Cross it out. Theta. Yeah. What are we going to use? Why don't we use this first one up here? x is rho sine phi cosine theta. So then x, oh, it's 1. This is root 3 sine of 54.7 degrees cosine theta. So don't mind me. 44.97. Why don't we call it... Forty-four point nine seven. I was going to call it 45. But that would be a problem of a different caliber. <laughs> a killer. So what's my point going to look like? My point's going to look like rho theta, phi, tee hee, tee hee. So we're going to see that we're going to go out, root 3, and we're going to rotate from our positive x-axis, 44.97 degrees, and then we're going to come down off our positive z-axis, 54.97. Degrees. Yeah. And then here it is. Grenade. <laughs> oh, not a grenade.
That problem was dynamite. It was a real blast. I got a bang out of it. <laughs> I'm going old school. That problem was da bomb. 